Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. Now this is going to be the final episode on Shamrock Valley this week. There will be two more episodes before Star Roleplay. Um, but as well, yeah, I'm going to be doing some more multiplayer with Chainsaw 100. So I'm in the John Deere sprayer today because we have this contract. A little bit of work to do for um, Toby Law. Uh, film number 32 just has to be done very, very quickly. Uh, film number 32 is over here, so not too far away at all. Let's just plan the route. I think probably go up there, go down here. Pretty easy stuff. So this is going to give me a bit of money. Not too much. It's not going to cost us very much either because we've already got the fertilizer and the fertilizer which we've got isn't very expensive. And because we have the fabulous uh, variable spray rate mod, it means I can even do it for free pretty much if I wanted to. I'm not going to cheat though. It's set to whatever we sprayed our fields with. 100? 100 litres per hectare, which doesn't sound very much. Okay, so here we go. Right, I suppose I could have just, you know, cut through <laughs> cut through where the pigs are. We are going to be feeding the pigs in a minute or two. Just going to get a little bit of money in first, just so I can really boost the amount of food that I can give them. I don't think this job is going to be particularly well paid. Oh, look at that, the beacons are much better. Yeah, I don't think it'd be that good, but at least it's something. It's just a bit of extra income. This somehow feels a little bit too big for this road. Right, Venom 32 is just here. Nice and easy. So this is a sunflower field. Let's get it unfolded. And I think it is going to be literally one pass. Just go across the field once. Uh, better make sure those booms don't touch anything. And then, yeah, we can be paid. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, I really do enjoy getting the easy money. I don't know how much pig food it's actually going to pay for. But anything is a bonus. Hmm, looks like it will be just a little bit more than passing it once. Because uh, it is only just not wide enough. So I have got the plan of eventually using trailers for the pig food. But I think just to begin with, I am going to use the big bags. I'm not going to do too many big bags because it is very slow, very long-winded. But I have the auto-loading trailer and that can load, as far as I'm aware, can load pallets of food. So it shouldn't be too much of a job. Okay, so there we go. That is the contract finished. All done. Money. 1,666. We'll collect that. And I suppose the expenses there would have been in the region of £300, I would say. 200 maybe. So yeah, not bad at all. A nice healthy profit. Of course, I can do more. And if I wanted to do more, I would probably go for a well-paid one. That's the highest pay. Is that film number nine? Is that is that much of a job? Um, hmm. It's not a huge job. Okay. Well, uh, let's stick it on a time lapse, and we'll get that done. I'll see you over at field nine. Okay, so here we are. This is the sheep field, obviously, if you've been watching the series before. You already know. Um, but yeah, we've got 
quite a few crates of wool. Now I did say I was only going to sell these when the price is good, uh, so hopefully it is because I would like to free up the trailer for the, uh, the food. So let's just take a look at the price of wool. Okay, so this one here. Now, I don't know what it would usually be. It is decreasing, which makes it look bad, but I think 1300 is that? Seems to be quite good, I think. Um, hmm. Or can you get 2000? It's interesting. No, I think I will. I will sell them. Now, where's my wheel loader? Here it is over at the other farm. So if I just go and take that over to the sheep field, I can get those loaded up. Now, I don't like to uh, do this. I won't be doing this again. Um, but it just... It would mean unloading those crates again. I don't really want to unload them. Unless I'm selling them. So, yeah. It, it just seems quite destructive taking them off again. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it's better to load four more up than take four off. Now the sprayer, which I've brought over here, that's actually not going back to the farm, it's going to go over to the placeable yard, because eventually that is going to be built on. As soon as I have enough excess money, I'll put a shed up for storing the machinery. Right, so is it possible to pick up two? Seems like a strange thing to say, but I've done it before. Just depends if the pallet fork goes through long enough. Through far enough, there we go. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's true properly, so it might drop it. Uh, but the other good thing is because these are going to be sold straight away, I'm just going to put them straight on the trailer. It doesn't matter about them being too neat. Okay. So those two. Ah, oh, these two are actually uh, 90 degrees to each other. Right, okay, so that is all stacked. Let's just get this really quickly processed. Get it attached to here. Now, I've had uh, quite a few people sending me links to other trailers that work, so thank you very much to those people. I'm going to try and get it into the uh, into the game for the next episode, auto loading trailers. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be good. Be nice to auto load the pallets. Um, you can. It does say you can auto load pallets, but I've never been successful with the sheep pallets. And yeah, it doesn't matter how many times I press on and off and stuff. It doesn't make any difference. So to begin with, I think if I go and take this up to the place we yard, I'll get rid of it. I'm going to take the sheep wall over to the best place. I think there's only one place actually, so it's not going to be too tricky to figure out where it is. This yard up here is completely deserted. There's just nothing here. But soon, at some point in the next couple of weeks, it's going to be thriving. We're going to have loads of sheds and stuff. Oh, there is actually something here, the header, of course. It didn't fit in the other yard. But yeah, I do need to get the storage facility sorted out because it is just it's just too cramped down there and this is too unused. It needs to be used. I own the place and it's just great. There's so much space. Right, so back into here. I think it's the store down there. Spinnery. Down there. Is it? Maybe not. Now the spinnery is a long way. Okay, so here we are. This is the wall sell point. Yes, the other reason why it would be nice to change the trailer is because this one is a dolly. I think I might get one for the truck, uh, which means that I can also load and be able to reverse into places. We might get away with it. The rear pallet, yep, that one has managed to get in there. So that's another piece of very welcome income. So now we have some money. Enough money to feed our pigs. Now, as I've said, the soybeans are going to be coming from our crops anyway, from our field. Um, but the corn is going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, the next crop which I plant will be corn because that is 50% of the base food. So we can really save quite a bit of money there. And they'll be able to have 50% of their base food. 
they'll always have plenty of it. So, let's head back over to the store, buy several crates, see if it auto stacks first, see if it auto loads. If it does, fantastic. If not, then, well, I'm just going to have to have a bit of a loading session with the JCB. I do need to watch out here at the crossing, because I always go a bit too fast, and then as soon as somebody walks out, it's too late, so <laughs> I need to be very careful. Right, here we are. Yes, it would be good if we can give them all they need today. They are going to have enough of what they need, it's just they're not going to have a full requirement, but they don't need to. So, yes, let's go into the big bag section. And we need to figure out which... There we go. A thousand pounds each. Not cheap. Not cheap at all. Okay, three will do for now, because I just want to use the auto load, if I can do. It's set to pallet, so in theory, it should work. See if I've got the right setting here. There we go, look at that, fantastic. Uh, so yeah, it would appear that it just is not compatible with the wall crates. Uh, in fact, if I, maybe if I just stay here, just see if that will auto... I can't really see, but it would be interesting if it is auto-loading in its place. I think we'll spend about... Well, we'll go down to about £30,000, because that's pretty much where I was at the beginning of the episode. Uh, right, so yeah, it's more than what we can actually have on here. So if I can now unload those to the bed, which I can do, um, I should be able to just stack the final four. So yes, if I just go back over to the JCB, let's just see. Ooh, the Ferguson. I'm going to have to take the Christmas hat off soon. The Santa hat, that's sad. Um, but yeah, soon it will be, it'll be another year until Christmas again. But it's been good. Hopefully everybody else's Christmas has been good too. Also, while I'm here, I suppose I should just move those bells along a bit. They are being consumed. And as soon as they have all gone, with the exception of the straw bale, uh, the other bells which I have, which you just saw on the Ferguson, they can be brought across as well. So at the moment we're doing pretty well for feed. Eventually I'll have to cut a bit more grass, but that's fine. We have plenty of grass to go at. Ah, yep, yeah, mustn't forget the gate. There we go. And these sheep must be breeding quite nicely now. I, I don't really see why they would be... Yes, look at that. Every seven and a half hours. I was going to say, I don't know why they wouldn't be breeding well. They have good food. There's plenty of them, so they can keep busy. So, yes, just four left. Just pop them on top. I think probably this one can go from this side. Don't worry, you don't have to watch all of this. I'll just very quickly do it off screen. Uh, but let's just make sure it works to begin with. I should be able to just put it on top of what, well, one of these, any of these. Probably in the middle. Although, actually, no, looking at the design of these, it shouldn't be put in the middle. It's not like a bale. Nice. And then I can just update the strap. There we go. <laughs> if you spoke like, well, if you spoke like I do in farming simulation in real life, everyone would think you're crackers. Yes, you're just going to update the strap. No, you're going to take the strap off and put it on again. That would make sense. Although I guess that is updating it. And there we go. All done. So, let's go and put it all into the trough. This is going to make some very productive pigs. And, of course, yeah, that's going to mean they're going to be pooping quite a bit, which is going to create a lot of slurry. Meaning, if we get enough slurry, I can sell the slurry... I don't think we're going to get much money for it, but it is all extra. Plus, it's free fertiliser for the land. It means I don't have to buy any anymore. In a way, I'm quite surprised that it didn't automatically double stack anyway. Um, but I suppose, yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't really double stack them. They don't seem like the type of crates which are designed to. Anyway, yeah, see you over at the farm. I think there might be enough here to totally fulfill their requirements, because there are only five. We do only have five pigs. But I did show you how much they needed just for one, how much food they needed for one. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But here's the first one. You can see they already do have a bit in their trough. So that's going to disappear. But it does go for a while. It's a thousand litres a time. Let's just take a look. Yeah, so that's where you can see. They're also going to need some straw. I do have one straw bale mixed in with the hay bales. I'm not too sure if I've put any straw bales anywhere else. I don't think I have. Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, I'll get this all put into there, and I'll see you in a second. 
Now I think, uh, oh, come back. Uh, I think uh, we're not going to give them everything just yet. We are going to give them it all, but I want to put the soybeans in there first because what it does is it does split it, and what you can see, it's almost filled the corn category. So instead of um, just you know splitting it across all of these, because I mean, I'm going to have loads of soybeans anyway, I think we should fill it up first, and then we can split it between these two instead. That would be a better approach. So that's going to be happening as soon as this field over here is ready. It hasn't grown that much. I think maybe I should put the times times 15. Um, and also water. Need some more. Yes, you do. Uh, oh no, it might have. A, yeah, it's grown a little bit, but it's not growing very fast. I think the growth rate is on fast. It is. So it shouldn't be too much longer. But it is taking its time. Then again, it is a crop, so you wouldn't really expect it to be ready overnight. Um, so yeah, we'll um, hopefully have quite a bit of progress next week. I think this will all be harvested. We'll have the corn put in. And then everything will be sorted over at the, the pigs. I'll get some straw sorted out too. Probably get some more pigs if I can afford it. But there's plenty of things yet to happen at this farm. And of course, we've got the big yard to do uh, over at the placeable section. So yeah, the placeable yard will be done. Uh, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.